We're going to compare 4, 6, and 5, 6 using a rectangular area model. Let's start with 4, 6. Now, if you look at the fractions, they have the same denominator but different numerators. So when we draw our holes, we can partition both holes into six equal parts. So I'm going to take this first rectangle and partition it in half and then partition each half into thirds. And I'm going to shade in four of those six equal parts. And in the next model, I'm going to represent five, six. So I'm partitioning the hole into six, just like the first model. This time we're going to shade in five, six. So comparing the, these two holes, one on top, one on the bottom, we can clearly see which fraction takes up more space of that hole. 5, 6 is greater than 4, 6. Okay, so if we know 5, 6 is greater, I'm going to circle that. But now, how do we write that using our greater than and less than symbol? So we're going to start with 4, 6, and then place 5, 6 here. Which of our symbols goes in between? 4, 6 we know is not the greater fraction. 5, 6 is greater. So I want the symbol that faces or is open to 5, 6. And that is actually our less than symbol because we read our comparison statement from left to right. 4, 6 is less than 5, 6.